viewers, you are still the camera can work out with you now the streets of Freetown. But talk to young entrepreneurs and concerning some of the challenges them way they know they go through ever since when they start up their business them and also forget for no from them some of the success stories them where they go look for share and also we want for no from them young entrepreneurs them here so how they don't they do for reach out to youth them out there we get the same aspirations them where them be getting them just start up their business so that them self go able reach to speak where them they now we they go to them young entrepreneurs they are forget their own views Hello to you. I'm Kona Sisi from Sierra Network Media House. You go please show your name. Um, I'm Silton Lionel IFME Precious Williams, commonly called Press for short, as a brand name also. Alright, so what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a photographer. I'm into multimedia. I do photo videos. I major in portraits and weddings. Okay. So, who's are your office located? Uh, my studio is located at 46 William Street of Dundas State. How long you done day into this work? I'm into the arts for about four years now. I started some four years back at around um, October, November. Okay, um, you've been into this act for about four years now. Do please tell us what has been your experience so far? Well, photography has been a life-changing journey for me and um, it changed uh, my way of seeing things, my way of living. Most people tell me I don't like I don't I don't have a life on my own. But I say glory be to God because at least I've provided where I know something is coming in or going out some way somehow. So um it started from borrowing a camera or we started with a phone, sorry, I started with a phone. Taking pictures of phones from there, I'll start borrowing cameras and start doing some editing. Now um, I'm sure we have one of the most renowned names. And say, so, you know, you talk about photography among the first three were mentioned. Okay. And so. What inspired you to go into photography? Uh, what inspired me? I just love taking pictures way back then. I love taking pictures. I love taking pictures with phones, and I started with graphics design after I started to um, do us. And during college, I met some friends who were trying to manipulate. I started, I started doing graphics design, so I tried to manipulate some photos. So I intend taking photos to manipulate them because I they actually tell me what I want. Yes, exactly what I want. So I started pictures to manipulate them. That what led me to. The brand. Right, you love taking photos, yeah? When you take these photos, what are your emotions? How do you feel when you take these photos? You know, bringing your photos to come into life, you know? Okay, for me, um, it's an art that express your feelings. Okay. Um, just today I was um, talking to my students that when I'm happy, I take photos. When I'm sad, I take photos. When I'm stressed, I take photos. But in between those photos, um, my workers here could tell you my mood by my photos. Few of them, not, although not all. When I'm really happy, I take very dark pictures. Um, I'm this dark, low-key kind of person. So when I'm happy, I'm there. When I'm like normal and stressful, I do take regular photos, just regular. But when I'm happy and like in the mood, I become cinematic and dramatic. So, but each and every point that I do, when I'm happy or sad, when I take photos, it's like a stress relief. It's being out the type of feeling I want to express. So it cools me off. That's it. You're very young, be that your youth and you're doing this work now. What has been your greatest challenge so far? My greatest challenge so far is... Um, most of my clients use my meekness for weakness. Okay. Since I'm a businessman, the customer is always right. I'm young, so probably they take advantage of that. But I'm used to now. Being here for like four years, not like four days. But I do face that all the time when we're coping. All right. Um, you are into this, yeah? But then how do you try your best to reach out to others out there who have the same dreams and aspirations that you do but yet could not reach to the level which you have achieved? Well, I could say photography is an art I love. And what I love, 
um, about me is I don't tend to keep the art to myself. I've learned several people within my years of experience. I've trained up to 10 or more people. I'm even taking classes right now with three guys. Um, I'm sure I trained um, one of the upcoming studios now in town, which is Red Pictures. I trained, um, they were groomed for me and some few more. The art is um, like no one's an island. Yes, um, I'm commonly known for lightning in Sierra Leone when you talk about lightning. So even other studios which you might say their name, their brand are up there than me somehow, they do come to me to tap. And that the doors are always open. I, I'm, not, I'm not keeping the ideas in there. So whatever time I'm free to share the art, it's God's gift. Okay. So um, do you think that photography is a platform for empowering youth in Sierra Leone? Sure. It's one platform for empowering youth in Sierra Leone. Um, because, so far as to say, I started art alone. I met, sorry, I met um, a young guy on the way. And he started bouncing light for me. By the way, I met him. Um, my machine had a problem that I had to fix. So I met him on the way. He had love for the art and that's how, where the journey started bringing people in so now um we have about i have about seven people working with which are all young people i'm sure they're all below 27 and of course myself i'm below 27 so we're all working together and that's one major thing i'm sure it's an empowerment and that's what it is Okay, so you work with people that you're equal age mates with, right? What has been your challenge working with people, knowing that you're all of equal age mate, you're all age mate, and then, you know, sometimes you have to be tough, sometimes you have to be, you know, like you need to mingle with them, and then you need to make them know that this is what you want, this is what you need them to do, and all. Okay, um, with that... I face that every day because there are times when they, do, they don't really take me serious, even when I'm serious. But one thing I love about them is when um, they know I'm mad, I don't get angry easily, but when they know I'm mad, everybody knows what that means. So I'm used to I'm playing and laughing with them always, but when it's work, it's work. And that's what's it. Okay. When it work, it works. So, how does a very busy day look like? A very busy day look like a pack full day with people and all. So, let's say um, studio sessions are quite busy, but the most busy days are handling events like weddings. Um, I could tell you we um, we put at work. Um, very early at seven or eight when the bride is about to get dressed and stuff um till we are as let's say till 12 the next day so that's those are the most ethic days i've ever worked with and those are the ones i say i think are very ethic all right so who do you consider to be your mentor um when i started photography i started taking pictures um i met um a childhood friend and a brother is now my father um, by the name of um, Larry Ronitoka. He owns um, Ronnie's photography. He works at BBC now. So he guides me through um, taking proper pictures and being a professional photographer. So I consider him as my mentor. Okay. What would be your message to youth out there who have similar dreams that you had when you just started doing photography? What would be your message to them? Um, a message to you out there with the same dream. The thing is, when I started photography, it was a lot was like um, it's a drop out thing. It's not too serious. It doesn't hand you money. So the thing I'm telling young people out there is um, always keep a focused mind. What you know, it's right. Even though 
the world may think it's not really serious, it's not really worth it. But if you see a bigger picture there, go for it. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Hello to you and welcome to this interview. Please do introduce yourself to me. Okay, I'm Joslyn, commonly known as Toys. Jocelyn, what do you do for a living? I'm a photographer at Press Photography. Okay. So, how long you done the work na Press Photography? Over um, two years, six months counting. Okay. So, what's you know your experience so far? Okay, my experience so far has been um, hectic work, busy days, okay. less time for yourself. Okay. How a very busy day look like for you? Okay, a very busy day can look like um, we get lots of clients at hand. We basically okay, start off um, shoot from 7 p.m. till 10 um, p.m. From 7 a.m. sorry till 10 p.m. Okay, if somebody want for camera press photography, which angle and which road did they pass for make able for come locate usai press photography day? Okay, so um about press photography um. We get the office line out there, which is 078 089695. And we're also there on social media, on Facebook, Press Photography. Then um, we're there on Instagram also, Press Photography underscore SL. So you can reach us throughout. What about on our office address? Um, 46 Williams Street, off Dunder Street. You know, before now, people they consider photography for be only for dropout. You know, then they treat them with that less regard. Like, as a youth presently, what is your own clue about photography? What you go tell people about photography? Okay, photography is um, it's a fun job mm -hmm. if you have love for the art. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, photography um, builds you. Okay, photography for me, I can say. Um, it don't help me out a lot. People that can watch me can say, oh, he's a dropout, he's not going to make it, he's wasting his time and everything. But I can tell you, um, since I started and where I'm at now, it's a whole lot of changes. All right. So you think, say, he get for do all about talent and all? Yeah, get for do all about, all about talent. Because um, if you not get talent and also if you not get love of the art, you're just wasting your time. Okay. Yeah. As a photographer, how you go able to define a very perfect picture? Okay. Okay, um, for me, I can usually talk, they say, you forget the eye. Yeah, the eye counts. I can walk on the street, I can pause for a minute, look at the sky, look at the environment, think about a lot of creative things on my mind, mm. how to capture it. Okay. okay, so the eye matters. So you're saying that photography is all about what you think now you mind, right. what you create now you mind, you try for put them into life, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do you go tell youth them out there we get a mindset for think about things so creative but then they don't know how to put them into a form where somebody go look at them and say this looks so beautiful. Um I can say the only thing you get for do is that um you get for engage yourself throughout studies. Okay, if you're not able for going for any cause, we are in your phone now each day. Um, you got YouTube, you got tutorials, you got to watch, put it to practice. Then, you see, you grow, you grow from there. Okay, so you go tell we say photography in a, a platform for you know develop the youth them out there. Yeah, because I can say um lots of you uh, lots of youth them jobless nowadays. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like um, photography, it's a, it's a, I have to say, um, photography is just, it's just there for you. It's just there for you. All right, so if somebody wants to take a very beautiful picture from press photography, how much you go get for pay per picture? Per picture, it's just go for pay 25000 But for the one that we they are not rich, they, we can negotiate on down for you. So what thing will be your words to viewers them out there about press photography? So my words out there is that um, press photography, we're here for you guys. We, we're here for the best. You already know the art of light. I'm Jules Lane. We're here. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello there and welcome to this interview. You go please tell your name and what you do for a living. Um, my name is uh, Master J. That's, that's like my musical name. 
um, I'm a producer by profession. How long you done day into this profession? Um, next next year for make me three years. By the grace of God. So what do you your experience so far? Well, in this short time, um, I've learned a lot. You meet different people, you learn different things. So I would say there's a lot, there's a lot for to learn in the short time, and I still learn more. So, what are some of the success stories then where you go to share with me? Um, well, yeah, there, are, there are lots, there are lots. Um, as I can see it's a, it's a learning process. Then, um, other people and they appreciate the work what they do, and um, you can see from the evidence like I don't win a couple of awards. Then, so I believe that there, 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 yes, the success story is there. Yeah. You're very young and you they push through with this dream of yours. What can not be some of the challenges then way like they try for hinder you sometimes when you want to push through and see that you get success at the end of the day? Okay, um, first thing is, is people. People are the challenges. Um, you get some people that would just not believe in what you, you just try for at you. But the, 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 the thing I use for overcome is just for believe in myself. That's if I, if the next man can do it, myself can do it. Yeah. So, what did motivate you? Like, what gave you the inspiration for push through with producing music? Okay. Um. First of all, um, the idea of me being a producer is for come and make a difference. That's the, that's the bottom line, because um, waiting me being the get like from the sounds and the production, I was not happy with it, but. Who, who better than consider a, a mass based servant is himself. So like I, I just decide for come in and make me your input, forget an impact in start. Mm -hmm. So so far when you don't come in for make you an input, you don't they see that changes don't they happen? Exactly. Yeah, that's what is happening. And I they try for set a standard, like a very good standard way other people and for able in kids are able to follow. Yeah. Speaking of other people, then for able to follow, which you don't already start, you know, ever since when you start this work, you don't get set of people where you talk to, so you don't, you know, you don't learn this work where, you know, now some of the people will go tell up about your story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, get, I get a few of them, I get a few of them where, since I know I not say it, but like, it's not how long, it's how well you, how well you, 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 you perform. So, like, yeah. Oh. So like how you go able to reach out to youths them out there we get similar dreams then where you get for the music industry but then they don't know how for begin and they not get the help from people we're not able to get the help from people where they desire forget. Well I, I can I can usually get um ways and means that I can meet like young people and like most of the time I can get session in a studio. I they even take the number and we can communicate further. And try for encourage them because the societal day in is really difficult for like person just start on your own. You understand? You just get for need a helping hand. So like I, I can try for do that. Um, get I get other like other musicians they wouldn't pass to me also. I try for um help them up. Yeah. Knowing that, knowing that you now are youth, you know, definitely. There must be a couple of youths then where they come around you for doing music and you're very young. How you can do for relate with them? Oh, okay. Well, I'm talking about people's skills. Um, uh, I can say um, with talent, now just one percent. Waiting to go to now, now the attitude. The attitude is 99 percent. Trust me. And, and the attitude gets a lot for, for, for doing, not even in production, in, in, life, in life in general. Your attitude towards the fellow person. If you not get good attitude, like and I would say, I'm I'm too open up. You understand? Because nowadays, when you be when you be too calm and too open up, then they tend for use you. I get my limits, but I go say the people skills. I they relate to people then. Yeah. So now, which type of music you they produce? Well, the type of music is predominantly gospel and moral songs because because. The other type of, of songs, them, the producers, them, Boko. Yeah. So, so what thing make you decide for go in for only more songs? Is it that because the producers, them, Boko, or you get a personal reason why? Yeah, I got, I got my own personal reason. It's, it's something more spiritual than, than physical. Yeah. 
So what will be your message to youth them out there we want for, you know, get all the things that we you already achieved from, you know, your aspirations from the beginning. They want for reach the peak who say you did now, but then they don't know how for start them. Uh, it's like I go tell and say let them just put in effort. That's just it. In life, and then stuff they are it's really do and the first question it asks you, why are, why are you doing this? But when you don't put in effort, you don't say then they got the question they change to how are you doing this? You understand? So like me my advice now for let, let them just put in effort. Even up to now, like they are are they are they putting a lot of hours research a lot of research and i can sleep taste until they, like then four in the morning because i know me goal and which i want to achieve so my own message let them just keep pushing on that's it thank you very much you're welcome hello to you and welcome to this interview me now kona sisi from sara network you go please introduce yourself to me and tell me what you do for a living um me now alfred Ture, but normally business and i am sackfred babin selo um I mean, the address actually, but like before the address they come up, I begin to another things then we I be they do. I mean, I teach students per se, but I'm not done yet. But because of financial issue and all and support, make a seller start up a business, I go be raised from able to maintain the cause and all. That's it. So, how long you don't take inside this work? Um, I don't do this barbing from a small. I think from I think 15, 16, I don't do it with comb. But like later, I going I meet one my boss when I CD CD and co, where I improve on the the, the skill through this machine because I've been comb and blade normally be the use by then. But from where I meet this good man CD and co, he teach me a lot and gain a lot from him and I appreciate him for that. God go bless him for that. So, as an IT student, yeah, what did inspire you for coming to Babin? Um, I don't do Babin, as I said just now, for quite a long time. But like, my job way, I get passion for. So like, I believe, say, apart from the, 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 the book, the, 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 like skill like this go more give me something apart from that, that IT issue. So, with this, I go able to do extra things the way I feel say are capable of doing. Because this is not the job way presently, now for my able to sustain myself, my personal issue and all. So, now a job I get passion for. So, what you not be experienced so far? For this work? I don't gain a lot, I don't meet different people, I don't, I don't, I don't interact. I don't learn how for mix, how for deal with people, how for talk to customers. Um, of course, the person will learn myself, teach me a lot, I gain something from them. So that's a great thing for me. Somebody don't learn you and you don't gain something from them. How you they do now presently for Sida? What thing you don't learn yourself day before? Teach others out there. Um, well, that's not, not a big thing, per se. I get two, three, but what they say for don't start for land. But like we are just open here. I tell the lady wait for a while before they come in. But I don't learn myself don't learn one two person where I believe say if then self focus and put more effort for the work, then self will be boss one day. So you think say Babi in a, a skill way somebody they learn or is it that it based on talent? Um Sometimes not talent. Some man are talent. Nobody know the learner. They do one, but you just need one to guide. We will be get from somebody. We get experience. Pass and passing way, you know, sabi. Some na 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 a skill job we you get to come. I like you know sabi only come and blade or even the machine. You get to come, you can learn. So, how you go differentiate somebody way? Learn for do this work and the person will be seeing the talent it gets for doing, but you know, ever go for go learn on some side. Well, if the one way they learn, if you focus, I not believe the difference would be between the one way and the talent because even the talent sometimes can get difficulties, you understand. But the one way learn, even some some can learn, self can come perfect past the one way get talent. So, now something like that, I don't feel say there is a difference. 
Yeah. So out of this babbing, what do you do? You don't try for create room for youths them out there where they self one practice babbing for coming and also the gain out of this babbing where you don't start? Um yes, yes, yes. I don't do that. And I still don't I know I know I know go lose up because we get a lot of we come to youths the way they out there we can want do something but not get the chance. And some knocking gets possible away with casual, they will can't talk to them and say, okay, Sam, this is the way they do. I don't feel say you could gain anything out of them, but if you can't join me, no can do this something. At the end of the day, you self go be boss for yourself, you go able to earn and support you, personal issue and other things. Alright. So what are some of the challenges that we don't face ever since when you come into this business? Oh uh, well, normally from the from where this sick come up, we get business challenges. Customers and all they come frequently. Some man they afraid for come. Then get another other different things the way they come up with like the business. Some if they put this price and all, some man go say no, this is small based on based on how the country the system they grow. So the dif the difficulty is so much. So how you can do your pricing? Me. Pricing, how you can price? Yes. Well, I can buy for big one, I can buy ten thousand. Small picking, five thousand. It depends on the style. If one make like that, I buy for small picking at seven thousand. Yes. Many people can think say babbing now for people away no go school at all, now for drop out. But then you feel say babbing now a platform for entrepreneurship for youths? Yes, of course. Um Alan, though I know I know I'm not done yet. I still have about for, for continue cause. But that not means me not drop out. And this job not means say because you can't open a business like this, you not drop out or you know something like a failure, like no. As long as you put effort in what you do, you determine you must reach who you are rich at the end of the day. So what thing will be your message to youth them out there? I'm a message to me company youth then at let we let we not give up, let we not depend on different different things or person for say person no more go can help you. Because I believe, say, if you self take a step on your own, you try to build something within you for your future, at least you're able to become somebody in your life and you're able to inspire others. You get, others are able to take example from you for, for uh, explain to other people to say, this is somebody, you know, see this somebody I did. Now, because of the focus, the serious and all. So, like, I feel, say, the idleness out there, not a not to, not to job for we. Some of that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Viewers, Una Self don't listen to some of the young entrepreneurs that will be getting at Sierra Leone. Then you see us talk concerning some of the challenges them where they done the face ever since when they start them business. Them also share with me some of them success stories them and them tell me how them begin as youth for push through with their dreams them to foresee that them be or that them be so today and them also send out message to the youth them out there say whatever way they do make them not give up and on their dreams them and also for make them try for be or that they want for be till we meet again Mina Kona to say they say tata -ta.